It looks like the Xbox DVR issue could be getting worse. The Tunic map has been revealed and Fallout 76 is going to have five more years of content. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I have partnered with Ridge Wallet to show you these awesome wallets that they provide. Very thin, very durable, hold all of your cards as well as your cash. And it's completely replaced my previous wallets, those big bulky leather ones. The leather stretches, it hurts your butt when you sit down and they just take up a lot of space. And I have to say, since partnering with them and using this wallet, I've been extremely impressed. And if you are looking for just a super slick, easy to use wallet, you can actually use my code right now on ridge.com slash plume network and type in the coupon code plume network and you'll get 15% off. So make sure to go check out Ridge Wallet if you love super slick, super awesome wallets that, I mean, just completely replace your current leather wallet and are much easier to handle. So one of the biggest issues plaguing the Xbox still to this day is the game DVR. And I know that's an issue that's still going on, but it is saying a lot because the Xbox series consoles in general are just awesome consoles. Probably the best Xbox consoles and probably one of the best consoles ever made when you think about the overall features within it, the quality of life features, things like the backwards compatibility, auto HDR, the FPS boost, the smart delivery, the velocity architecture, all that type of stuff. You can go on and on. But the Xbox game DVR is still something that's hindering it to this day. We even look back at a feedback poll here that Windows Central did looking at what people want to see fixed, their biggest issues with Xbox in 2022. And unsurprisingly, the number one thing here was the game DVR problem. So we have some bad news right now regarding a game DVR clips. And it is that it could be taking a step backward. We know Xbox has talked about this. We know, I believe Jason Ronald has come out and said that they are looking at the DVR stuff. It is an item on their list to fix, to improve, to make better, all that type of stuff. But this doesn't seem like it's one of those steps forwards. And what's going on here is that in the recent beta build or Xbox Insider build of maybe the Alpha Skip Ahead program, the actual function to share your clips on Twitter directly from your Xbox dashboard has been removed. And this makes absolutely no sense. The only thing I can think of is that they've temporarily removed it in order to fix it, in order to make it better, to help improve the DVR clips. And they're gonna put it back later. Because you think about Twitter, you think about social media. If you go on Twitter, you look up Xbox, you look up people who talk about Xbox, they're always sharing screenshots and videos of the games that they are playing. And one thing with the, these clips not being the best quality, it doesn't help Xbox, it doesn't help the publishers, and it doesn't help the developers as much as it could if they were high quality, because it's kind of just free marketing from your user base. So taking away the Twitter functionality doesn't make sense from the standpoint that the users will be upset, and you're taking away just a feature to have free marketing from your Xbox users. So let's just hope that this is temporary, they've taken it away now just to try to improve it, and we'll have to, keep this story updated and see if they bring it back. It's not out yet. Like it's not a feature that's been taken away in the full retail release of the Xbox dashboard, but for people in the insider program, it looks like it's not there. All right, jumping over here to Tunic. Now Tunic comes out on March 16th. It's probably a game that I've been most excited for this year. I can't wait for this game to come out. I have played the demo. It's very much in the style of a Zelda game. Kind of reminds me of the remake of Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch, one of my favorite games of all time. Absolutely love it. And the fact that Tunic reminds me of that has me just so excited for it to come out. So we've got some more information here on the map. It's called the Overworld and the places you're gonna be able to explore, you can see it here. Now you can't really tell too much from this because it's just a drawing, but I really do like the art style. It kind of has that like hand drawing aesthetic to it. And you can see there are many different types of areas you're gonna be able to visit and probably kind of guess where the dungeons are with the big doors and the entrances around it. And you have the whole water surrounding it and that like kind of cloud aesthetic around the drawing itself. So I think this looks cool. I absolutely can't wait for this game to come out. It's an Xbox console exclusive or at least timed exclusive right now. And it's just uh, only about a week away. And finally to end things off here, let's talk about Fallout 76. Now this one 
is very interesting to me because this is a game that when it first released in 2018 just had absolutely brutal reception terrible reviews really got torn apart and was kind of a black mark on the fallout franchise fallout 76 is a live service game it's kind of a spin-off from the fallout franchise coming off of fallout 4 it was definitely a disappointment but since its release it's continuously improved they've continued to add content to it and obviously there is enough people still playing in this game that's worthwhile for bethesda to invest time into and it looks like this is just the beginning as we got more information that there is a five-year roadmap for Fallout 76. So this comes via the design director, Mark Tucker, and here's what he says. It's a very different game these days from where it was when it launched. We're looking at what our players are doing, what they're asking for. We try to react as best as we can to player feedback and address the things that they're trying to do and wanting to do. The funny thing is, if I could share what's on this other monitor right here, you would love to see it because it's a five year roadmap that I'm working on. We have long term plans and things get a little fuzzier the further we go out because we adjust and adapt as things show up and we see what players want and what they're doing. The message to our players is there should be no reason to think that we're not going to continue updating this game. We have things that we're doing to ensure that we can continue producing updates for the game for a long period of time. We've got a lot of fun, cool stuff that I can't wait to tell people about. Stuff that's beyond this year. The three-year roadmap is a lot more understood and known. At five years, it gets a little more fuzzy. So there's a couple of things here. It's Good to see that they're going to continue with this game for five more years, continue to make it better. Really shows you the live service model. I mean, games come out in the live service and games as a service model that generally aren't close to being ready. We even take a look recently with Halo and Halo Infinite's multiplayer, the campaign. Amazing game, but still a lot of content missing, such as campaign co-op, more maps, more multiplayer modes, all that type of stuff. And they're going to continue to add that as we go through and the game is going to be probably at its peak in like two or three years from now but it's going to continue to just improve as we go on and still it's fun to play today fallout 76 on the other hand was a game that came out and just i just don't think a lot of people liked it but they have such a strong brand recognition with the fallout series and a strong community people stuck with it and it was worthwhile to continue to invest in this game and add more content to it so much so that people are going to be getting another five years so it's funny how that stuff works because you look at reviews you look at the initial reception for a lot of games to come out and where they were when they came out no one even thinks or cares about it anymore because it's such a great game now like no man's sky is another great example of that so we'll have to wait and see what fallout 76 is like in the next five years but i think it's just great to see that they kept with this game they've improved it a lot and it's a much better game today than it was when it first released and this makes you start to think about what does this mean for the next i guess fallout 5 or something like that in the series does keeping the development of fallout 76 take away from that or are they just going to be both games released and have them side by side that's it for me guys what are your thoughts on the xbox dvr stuff do you think twitter is just being taken away right now in order to make sure that the overall xbox dvr is improved are you excited for tunic and do you play fallout 76 what's your experience been like with the game if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here if you like what you saw consider hitting that subscribe button thank you all for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video